Hi, I'm Dulcie Hale, and I want to talk about active versus inactive MS. Now, there are two different types of disease. When your disease is active, you go, you have attacks. There's exasperations. So you have attacks along with remission. And you could have one attack a year and, and then uh, be in remission for two years. So then the following year, you're still taking medication the whole time. Following year, you have attacks, uh, maybe three a year, and then uh, the doctor does an MRI, shows progression or disease activity, and because you're having three attacks a day, uh, um, a year, they want to change your medication to see something that is back more effective. So um, that's a good time to start talking with your doctor and consider that to keep you as safe as possible. Now, inactive MS uh, is MS where you don't take any medication and uh, uh, you don't have flares. Uh, you may find yourself having symptoms getting worse, but you're not on medication. Your MRI shows that there's no uh, uh, disease activity and uh, you're just uh, in the secondary phase of the disease where it's not active because you're not taking medication to prevent these attacks, but uh, um, it is inactive because the disease has run its course. Now, uh, uh, many of us at some point in time will be in that secondary state, but we won't know it because of medication. So uh, if we have inactive MS, how are you supposed to know with while you're taking, say, uh, to Sabri. Well, I caution you to make sure, be good. you've got to be aware that your disease isn't active because when you stop to, to Sabri, say you're, you're, you're just taking the doctor's word, the doctor suggests you go off the medication, which happened to me, um, they suggested, oh, you seem to be stable. It was stable for about five years. So I went off the medication. Six months later, without medication, I had a catastrophic attack. Three areas in my brain, two in my C-spine, and two on my spine. Uh, it took uh, six IVs of uh, Salumedrol and uh, two days of uh, rituximab to stop that. So. Um, and, you know, I can't blame the doctor because I'm partially to blame. I knew my disease was active. Um, it was a greater risk for me not to be on medication than it was for me to have uh, my lymphocytes get back to a normal level. So I, did, I wasn't at increased risk of infection. So um, make this is, this is something you all have to... Uh, think about. You have to really think. Risk reward. Is there a greater risk of having an MS attack or is it uh, uh, the side effects a greater risk? For me, uh, that catastrophic attack, I had symptoms that never left me. Um, constantly dizzy all the time because the attack was in the pons area of my brain. So when I close my eyes, I don't know which way is up or down. Uh, a vertigo dizzy and I, I use my walker now and it doesn't even work real well because I need something firm to stand up with. So, uh, um, and, and the walker, I can get a spell of dizziness and tip the walker over because it's not sturdy. I need to, you know, walking on, wall walking is better for me uh, than, than holding on to the, the, uh, the rollator. Well, anyway, so so again, active um, is when you have attacks, when your um, your uh, your your body's in a, in the uh, phase where you are still relapsing and remitting. The disease is very much active in your body. That's true with me, even though I've got secondary progressive. So what that means is 10 years ago or 20 years ago, I, I had attacks and uh, that are coming up. Those old symptoms are returning now uh, and, and I recognize them, but medication won't make them go away. I have to adapt. 
um, and I'm, I'm doing so. So uh, I'll do the next video I'll do is about how I'm adapting. But uh, this one is active. So you want to take medication if you even think it's helping you and inactive. Um, and it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell unless you go off the medication if you're inactive. Uh, but you run the risk that of having what I had. And that damage to me is worse. And in 20 years, uh, I hopefully I'll be dead. <laughs> no, I, I'm only kidding. But uh, um, in 20 years, uh, uh, that old uh, damage I had three years ago could, uh, could come back. And I'll be in a whole hot mess. Well, anyway, please subscribe. God bless you. I pray for all of you. I get notifications on my email when you subscribe. So I know your names, each individual, individual name, and I've prayed for you all by name. Anyway, God bless you, and please subscribe. Keep coming back. Go to msfrontiers.org and see the resources I have for you. Thanks. Bye.